Here's a lesson on how you use your powers in Classcraft. Classcraft, being a great learning management system, has an added benefit of having a feel of a game. <coughs> so you get to use powers. So I'm going to use Mr. Brennan as my example. I'm going to have him take some damage, even though, you know, he probably doesn't even know we're doing this, so shh, don't tell him. Uh, let's take 10, no, let's go for 15 damage, and say you were attacked by a dragon. Of course, Mr. Brendan defeated the dragon, uh, but, uh, or, or, let me back up. He will probably defeat the dragon, but he's going to need my help, because he's a healer, and I don't want to send my healer in to fight a dragon. I'm the guardian. I'm going to do the fighting. So when I have a chance to give damage on a random event, I always deal with damage later. That way, uh, players can use their powers. So let's go to my test character. And if I'm in the middle of a quest or something, and I get the message, I go to message, I find out, oh no, I need to protect. And Mr. G sends me a message saying, you need to protect. Then I go to my uh, character dashboard. So here are my powers. I've got protect one, first aid, and protect two. So I'm going to do protect two. And I go to delay damage queue. There's my teammate. I click on my teammate. I use protect two. Boom. I now protected Mr. Brennan. He took no damage. I took the damage. And now he, unbeknownst to him, can use heal and heal me after I protected him. Now, we need a mage to give us AP because now he's down to 15 AP. And I am down to 15 AP as well. So if we had a mage, we could get... Uh, a mana transfer and get our AP. This is how the teams can work together to keep each other from reaching zero. Because if anybody reaches zero, everybody in the team takes 10 damage for letting their teammate fall. And the person who got zero resurrects with one health, but uh, they have to complete a sentence, a pledge that will allow them to resurrect, come back to the game with one health. And they're going to need a lot of healing uh, and a lot of mana transferring there. The good news is, if your mage needs AP to use their mana transfer, everyone gets 7 AP every night. So there you have a quick lesson on how to make sure you have fun on Classcraft by using your powers.